Let me start off by saying thank you to all of you for helping make this year's Easter Sunrise Service a great success. Over the next few minutes, you will learn in today's training about the service, what to expect, where to go, and hopefully answer any questions you may have in advance. So let's get started with Basic 101, Service and the Public. This is our 92nd annual Easter Sunrise Service here at Bach Tower Gardens. This year, the service will be held on Sunday, April 1st, 2018. Now, some things you need to know is times. Guests will not be allowed into the gardens until 6 a.m. when the ticket booths promptly open. During that time, we will have the visitor center open and the gift shop open at 6. And service will begin right at 7 a.m. Now, during that time, we are asking all volunteers and staff to please eat breakfast during the service time frame and be ready back at your posts when service ends at 745. During that time, we will then usher our guests towards the cafe if they choose to go have breakfast, which will open and start service at 8 a.m. It is important to know who is presiding over this year's Easter celebration. This year, we have Pastor Scott Markley from First Baptist Church of Lake Wales. Our music will be a brass ensemble from Lake Wales Chorale and Ben Pugh. Now, one thing you need to know is seating is first come, first serve. We will have over 2,000 seats. However, this event last year saw close to 2,500 people, and the service is free to the public. Some other questions you may receive is what is being served at breakfast? Between the hours of 6 and 7, these are questions that may come your way, and if so, we want to make sure you're ready. Breakfast will be served at the cafe starting at 8 a.m. It is $12.95 for adults and $8.95 for children 11 years or younger. On the menu will be scrambled eggs, Spanish eggs, sausage and bacon, grits, homestyle potatoes, assorted pastries, fresh mixed fruit, orange juice, coffee, both regular and decaf. This is definitely a breakfast you don't want to miss. Keep in mind that the gift shop will be open starting at 6 a.m. Please remind our guests, if they have questions, that the gift shop opens at 6 and will remain open for the remainder of the day. Encourage them to go visit and see some of the many wonderful gifts and plants we have available for them to share on this Easter Sunday. Now that you know the basics on the visitor end, it's time for us to go over volunteer basics. And guess what? It's dark. Yep, you heard that right. At 5 a.m., it is dark here at the gardens. So we encourage all volunteers and staff to please remember to bring a flashlight. We do not have the wonders of the sun until after 7 a.m. So it is dark and we cannot say it again, please remember to bring a flashlight. Now you may be asking yourself, what time do I have to arrive? We are asking all volunteers and staff to please arrive between the times of 5 and 5.20 a.m. as we will be holding a volunteer meeting at 5.30 prompt in the Olmstead House. When you arrive, we are asking all volunteers and staff to please park in Lot B. We will be running a shuttle from Lot B to the Olmstead House for those that do not want to walk or have trouble walking. We cannot stress this enough. It is vital that we do not have staff or volunteers parking in the main parking lot. We need to think of our visitors and we are asking all volunteers and staff to please park in Lot B as we will be running a shuttle to get you to the Olmstead House and back. So please do not park in the main parking lot. Now when you get to Lot B, you will notice that staff will be out there starting the initial cars showing how they should be parked. 
they will be directing traffic to get cars in line. But if you look below in the diagram, you will see how we would like cars to be parked in that lot. Please do not just park anywhere. Try to park as close to the other vehicles as you can without parking them in. This is vital that we are able to save spaces so when the parking lot fills, we're able to use lot B as an overflow lot for our guests. Once again, we will start promptly at 5.30 a.m. for our volunteer and staff meeting in the Olmstead House. During this time, breakfast vouchers will be given to all volunteers as a thank you for coming and helping with this year's service. At about 5.40, we will ask all volunteers and staff to please head up to the tower to help wipe down the chairs. We know from years past that all 2,000 chairs will be covered with that wonderful morning dew and we'll just need a quick little wipe down to help make them dry. Now we ask all volunteers to make sure that you are in place by 6 a.m. With all of us wiping down those chairs, we should be done by about 5.50, 5.55, giving plenty and ample time to get into place. We cannot stress this enough. Make sure you use the bathroom in advance. And take any available programs and towels if you are assigned to being an usher or a program distribution volunteer to your assigned post. With this link, we have attached the volunteer assignments, and we ask that you take a quick look at it before we continue in this training. Look for your name and where you're placed in the gardens. At this time, we're going to start with program distribution. Please note that we have printed 2,000 programs, but remember, last year we had close to 2,500 people. So we ask, as you pass out those programs, please ask families and couples to share. Welcome our guests and hand them a program. Wish them a happy Easter if you'd like, and thank them for coming. Now based on assignments, if it says South Entrance Bottom, you are going to be located near the parking lot entrance that goes up to the tower closest to Olmstead House. If it says South Entrance Tower, you are actually located near the tower, but closer to the shuttle stop, just shy of the information booth. If it says Rondell, you are actually near the visitor center in the circle portion before you head towards the gift shop. The main path St. Francis area is located near the rain shelter along the main path heading up to the tower. And, hence its name, you'll be actually near the 14 to about 16 inch tall St. Francis statue. If you're located at the Mountain Lake entrance, you will actually be near the clay road on the west side of the tower. And for the information booth, you will be located right outside of the information booth. If you're assigned to the donations, first of all, we want you to welcome our guests. Thank them for coming to the gardens to enjoy this beautiful 92nd annual service. At the end of the service, we ask that you thank them for coming. And please note that this position goes until about 8.45. So please do not just leave your post. Wait until a staff member comes around to relieve you. And don't feel bad if you do not receive a lot of donations. This is an area that we would encourage our guests to give but it is not mandatory as this is a free event that we hold every year and have done for the last 92. Now if you are assigned to the south entrance bottom, you too will be located near the parking lot at the bottom of the entrance towards the tower. Again if it says south entrance tower, you'll be located near the tower closest to the shuttle stop. The Rondell then Cafe Breezeway this is an important position as you will start off in the Rondell area, but move as service ends closer to the cafe and we ask you to please be there until the cafe slows. This should be around 9ish, but again a staff member will come around to relieve you and let you know that we will be closing that station. And if you are located at the Mountain Lake entrance, this is a brand new donation bin that we have never done before, 
you will be located near the Clay Road, just west of the tower. If you are assigned to be an usher, remember, welcome our guests, wish them a happy Easter, and help them find a seat. Remember, it is first come, first serve. We will see over 2,000 people, and we only have 2,000 chairs available. So once we run out of chairs, please apologize and help them find a nice spot to stand where they will be able to see the service at the tower. Now, if you are assigned to the Horseshoe Garden, you will be located below the shuttle stop near the tower. If you are near the chairs, then you are all around the tower in different parts helping guests find their way and find a chair. If it says Japanese Lantern, then you are located right on the west side of the tower near the Japanese Lantern helping guests find their way to the chairs. And lastly, if it says Accessible Area, then you are going to be located near the tower but near the shuttle stop by the information booth. For shuttle drivers, please have your carts ready by 6 a.m. Shuttles will run from 6 to 6.55 a.m. as we do not want shuttles running during service. No shuttles will run from 7 a.m. to 7.45. If guests arrive late, they will be asked to walk to the top of the tower as we will not be able to run shuttles. Shuttles will return to service at 7.50 as we want to make sure that service has officially ended before we send the shuttles back up. Now there are two locations for shuttles. The first is at the south entrance bottom near the parking lot going up to the tower. The second location is at the visitor center which is the usual shuttle stop. For those assigned to parking, please start with row 1 until all rows have filled. Start with row 1, 2, 3, all the way up to row 7. Once all 7 rows are filled, we will then move to filling lot A. Lot A is located behind Olmstead House, along the dirt road, and near the horticulture building. Because we know this event will see over 2,000 people, we know that this will also fill quickly as well. Once Lot A is filled, we will then move on to filling the remainder of Lot B. And if that fills, staff will then start to fill Lot C, which is not labeled on here, as staff will need to be present for that to happen. As a cafe host, you will welcome our guests. Help clean up the tables as guests leave so more guests can come. And most importantly, Help guests find available seating. Remember, with over 2,000 people, right after service, they are going to head towards the cafe. This will be the busiest between 8 a.m. in the morning and 10 a.m. And all hands will be needed to help the cafe move smoothly, but still offering that amazing customer service that we're known for. All right, so now you know your assignment. You know where you're supposed to be. It's showtime. Between the hours of 6 and 7 a.m., we are asking that all volunteers and staff stay in your assigned area. Remember to smile. Welcome our guests. Give them a happy Easter and good morning. If there are any issues that arise during this time, please find a staff member, or the quickest way to get a staff member is call the volunteer coordinator. The cell phone number is 773 708-8483. If there's an issue, give a call. He'll be able to radio and get a staff member there ASAP. Once service begins, we ask all volunteers and staff to please head to the cafe to have breakfast between 7 and 745. If you would like to enjoy service, please grab some breakfast and head back up to the service. We are asking volunteers and staff to eat during that time frame as we want to make sure that between 8 and 10 a.m. the cafe is there and available for our guests to enjoy. We need to remember that seating is limited so we want to accommodate for our guests and ask all staff and volunteers to please eat between 7 and 7.45 during service so that we are back in our posts nice and full with a nice hot breakfast 
and have the cafe available for our guests starting at 8 a.m. After service has concluded, we ask all volunteers to please be back at your posts between 7.40 and 7.45. Thank our guests for coming. Wish them a happy Easter. Help answer any questions they may have. And please remain at your posts until a staff member has thanked you for your service and dismissed you. Now, if you should have any further questions after this training, please feel free to email Joe Landmichael at jlandmichael at bocktower.org. Call his office at 863-676-1408, extension 2258. Or, next time you're in the garden, stop by and see Joe, Donna, or Melissa with your questions. And most importantly, this event would not be possible without all of you. So we can't say it enough. Thank you for your time, and we will see you real soon at the gardens.